All right, hang on to something here. This is going to shock you. More and more men are getting tummy tucks. In fact, our next guest says about 20% of his tummy tuck patients are men. Dr. Ryan Diedrich is with Mid-America Plastic Surgery, and he's here to tell us how tummy tucks are getting more popular and how he's changed the surgery to reduce the downtime, right? Absolutely. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for joining Thank us. Thank you. Well, for the three or four people out there who don't know what a tummy tuck is, and <laughs> most of them would probably be men because, obviously, it's still more popular for women. I it don't think it'll is. ever get more popular for, than for men. But um, what exactly is a tummy tuck? A tummy tuck is a procedure we use to eliminate extra skin from the stomach, tighten the muscles, and really give a tighter, flatter stomach. So some people just have that extra. Some people may have generated that by, by weight loss and Absolutely. just have a lot of loose skin. You know, a lot, traditionally it had been pregnant women. Afterwards, they decided to tighten their stomach. But we see more and more variety in the patients coming in, whether it be due to just weight loss mm -hmm. or surgical procedures, gastric bypass, mm -hmm. banding. And it's a good sign that people are getting in better shape. They're Absolutely. losing the weight, and we just have to do a little something to trim things up as far as their self-confidence and make them look a little better. So there's two types, am I right, there's two types of tummy tuck? Well, there's two common types, many other variations, um, whether it be a mini tummy tuck that just addresses that lower portion of the stomach, more commonly a full tummy tuck, which really does tighten the muscles and give you the best result you can. So you're looking at before and afters here. Yes, absolutely. And so that, that's kind of the different areas that are addressed. There's other techniques where you Oh, that's the full and the mini. I'm the sorry. The full and the mini, yeah. And there's also um, vertical techniques or where we go all the way around, belt lipectomy, fix the front and the back at the same okay. time. So, but you do have some very compelling, you told me, uh, before and afters that oh, I'm anxious absolutely. to see. So let's take a look at those because um, I think this is what people are, this is the kind of thing that people are going to be dealing with. It is. It, like. It, like this gentleman, he lost 100 pounds diet and exercise. He's not even 30 years old yet, and he mm -hmm. wanted to make a change. And this is just six weeks after surgery. So you can imagine wanting to go out, you know, on a, to the pool or whatever and not have that loose skin and, and just the improvement that you get. This is a, obviously a female. Yes, and she'd had a few children and was looking for a little improvement. Again, six weeks out, um, she'll still have further improvement from there. So talk to us. I think we have one more. Oh, oh boy, yes. that's this, dramatic. This result is just astounding. Um, it, she was mostly skin, and that's what we were addressing here. She had lost almost 200 pounds and had just absolutely a phenomenal result. So what is it that you're doing that decreases the downtime? Because this is a one-night stay surgery in, uh, with your Typically, technique. correct. Okay. And um, typically with a traditional tummy tuck, we would use drains to get rid of some space that's there after surgery. Mm -hmm. What we do a little different, um, well, the problem with the drains is a lot of women are annoyed. They're not painful, but they can be there one, even up to three weeks. You're back at work doing your activities, and you're still dealing with these drains. We do something a little different. We actually close all that space, starting top to bottom, and it's a little more time, a little more technically demanding, but no drains, shower the next day. I have shower the next day? Shower the next day. I have personally found the results to just better than I ever expected, never better than I ever had with the previous techniques. Back to work how long? It depends on the type of job, anywhere from one to two weeks. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, the scarring, because I think that'll be a concern for some people. It will. You know, traditionally, there was a lot of tension, a lot of pull right on that scar. What's nice about doing it this way is there's not near as much tension. You typically get a finer line scar with less risk. 90% of the battle is losing the weight. That's the hard part. This is the easy part. And, and uh, you know, reducing that downtime, I think, is, is, is critical. So that's great. Absolutely. Thank you so much.